Good evening from historic Gibson Chapel on the campus of Blue Ridge School. Are you guys ready? Please join me in prayer. Almighty God, we are grateful for the opportunity to gather virtually to celebrate the very real graduation of the Blue Ridge School class of 2020. We call upon your presence to be with each of our graduates and their families on this joyous occasion. May your Holy Spirit radiate out from Gibson Chapel to every barren household across the country and around the globe. These young men have already learned what it means to persevere. Bless their lives from this day forward with goodness and purpose. Help them to stay true to their dreams, to dare boldly, and to walk into the future with faith, confidence, and love. Amen. It is now my pleasure to introduce the past president of the Parents Association and the current chair of the Board of Trustees of Blue Ridge School, Mrs. Jill Kalinske. Thank you, Mr. Atkinson. Welcome, good evening, and welcome class of 2020, parents and families, Blue Ridge administration, faculty and staff. We gather from across the globe to celebrate the class of 2020. Like many com commencement ceremonies across the world, we are on at least plan B. But what a thoughtful plan B it is. I wanna thank the graduation task force, administration and faculty for your thoughtful planning. This virtual celebration carries with it the full measure and conference of diplomas as if we were in person. As we gather to confer diplomas for the class of 2020, whose names will soon be called by Headmaster Darren, I want to speak to our parents and to our families. Seven years ago, my family gathered as you are today to celebrate our son Sam's graduation with the class of 2013. We were boarding school reticent, and for the first year was fraught with, well, some of you may be able to imagine. But that year, the dedicated faculty, coaches, and staff helped our son see a future at Blue Ridge School and see doors and opportunities before him. His junior and senior year were full of plenty of hard work, highlights, deepening friendships, not only with peers, but with the extraordinary adults who are among our son's faculty and peers. Thank parents for entrusting Blue Ridge School with your sons. Your son's family grew when he stepped foot on this campus, and so did yours. I hope you have had numerous opportunities to interact with our outstanding faculty and administration and to enjoy your son's classmates and their families and welcome some of them into your home. If not, this barren family is forever and so remain those same opportunities. Thank you for supporting your son in distance learning. Our younger son had to come home from his sophomore year in college so I can appreciate the challenge it has been to reorient family life and to share bandwidth. I can also appreciate your grocery bill. The Blue Ridge family COVID response is one for which our board of trustees is truly grateful and proud. The board of trustees takes seriously our duty of care, duty of loyalty and duty of obedience to the charter of this school. Seven trustees are alumni, another six trustees are parents of alumni. We are a group of volunteers, each with our own unique story and motivation to serve. Graduates, as board members, we know that there is one thing above all others that guarantees the future of this great school, and that is you. It is my privilege on behalf of the trustees to congratulate you as graduates welcome you as alumni, and remind you to always carry with you the pride of your accomplishments here and the promise of your potential going forward. Speaking for the Board of Trustees and acting by the Articles of Incorporation of the Blue Ridge School, 
I authorize you, Headmaster William Tripp Darren, to confer the diplomas upon these candidates, candidates as approved by the faculty, the Dean of Faculty of Blue Ridge School, with my signature and your signature and under the great seal of St. George. Thank you. Well, thank you, Madam Chair, and hello, everyone. Uh, I am Tripp Darren, Headmaster, and it is my great honor to offer a tribute to the class of 2020 and to add my welcome to seniors and their families across the United States and, of course, all around the world. Uh, this is the first ever virtual commencement for Blue Ridge School, and in a time when it's almost a, a constant state of mind, uh, I feel mixed emotions about tonight. Um, this is, yes, an historic moment, yet it's also lacking uh, much of what this senior class deserves to celebrate together. You boys have worked hard, your parents even harder. So uh, tell them thank you at some point tonight, and when you say it, really, really mean it. This ceremony, though, is about you, the 51 seniors who together make up the class of 2020. You are an oppressive group, Zoom academic attendance over the spring trimester notwithstanding. In this class, there are 17 four-year boys, and in another historic moment, one five-year boy, Joe Chin. I'm thinking about you. I wish I could I'll reach you out and give you a high five, Joe. I think uh, we could say that of, of all the, the boys in this senior class, you have definitely put up with the most. The class of 2020 hails from 14 U.S. states and represents 10 countries around the globe. It is a class of scholars, athletes, musicians, artists, actors, leaders, 51 young men of character who I am very proud will represent Blue Ridge School as they venture off into the world. I want to tell you all tonight about another person who is leaving the nest, someone you don't know, 18-year-old McKenna Tanner. She is a graduating senior from Stratford High School in Houston, Texas. In a recent NPR interview, the host asked McKenna what it feels like to be a senior right now, when schools around the globe are trying various ways to do graduation safely, some in person and many more not. McKenna's response was that more than anything, she and her classmates, they just want to be able to reach over and give a classmate a hug. They want to give them a high five after they get the diploma. They want to chuck those tasseled caps into the air in a scrum at the very end of the cer ceremony. But they get that's not possible right now. This is the class that drew what people say is the bad luck lottery ball. McKenna went on to say how it feels weird that the world seems so hyper-focused on them right now. So many adults and virtual graduation speakers, without really knowing any seniors as individuals, are imbuing them with all kinds of laudable virtues and character traits. The class of 2020 is strong, resilient, and gritty. Well, that might sound like nice things for someone to say about you, but McKenna is right in pointing out that who knows if graduating amidst a pandemic will make you stronger. Like many of us, seniors just want to have things be normal again and are, are handling this weird situation that we're all in in the best way they can. I have seen and heard similar things from Blue Ridge seniors. Many just want to be done with this whole thing. Mr. Darren, just send me my diploma. I want to move on. Well, there are two things I'd like you to hear from me, boys, before you move on. First, to my thinking, the current situation we face reinforces the power of mindset. McKenna is right. We don't know how this pandemic will affect the class of 2020. But those who put their minds to making the most out of what seems less well, they'll be the ones who are made stronger and who do become grittier in this weird process. Because guys, simply how you approach this difficult thing 
this coronavirus that looks like a weird koosh ball. That'll affect any changes you undergo during the yet undetermined span of time that COVID-19 rules the world. You've been encouraged and sometimes prodded by Blue Ridge advisors and teachers to establish goals, to set your mind to accomplishing those goals, and to stick with it. Well, that can and should be happening right now, because especially in a time that gives you precious little to control, there's agency and power in taking on a proactive mindset. And guys, there'll be more challenges to face down the road after this virus recedes. The second thing I want you to hear is that no matter what, you seniors will always be part of a very, very special brotherhood. It's like a, a safety net, a battle cry, and a listening ear all blended together. Well, over the last 10 to 48 months, or 60 in the case of Joe, you've established bonds with one another. You've gone through some crazy stuff, a lot of which I don't even know about and I don't want to know about. Believe me, ignorance is bliss. You guys have laughed together until your sides hurt. You fussed over and comforted one another about the dining hall food. You studied for Niederberger tests until your brain exploded. You suffered through Coach Lemke or Wills or herring practices. You handled together homesickness. You helped each other through the occasional feelings of isolation and loneliness. Well, they say that nothing strengthens a friendship like sharing a difficult experience, getting through a major challenge with someone at your side. Those friendships are the ones in which time seems to have no impact. You might go months or even years not seeing or talking to a true friend. And then when you do, it's, it's almost as if no time has gone by. You see them, and the connection is instant and full. Right now, the bond of friendship is actually strengthening within the class of 2020. The present situation is a, an ultimate and distinctly unique form of difficult challenge. Only you know what that feels like. Only you guys can share with each other the unique takeaways from this experience. I've seen the way you've helped each other out through this crisis. And in this way, you are strangely lucky, fortunate to have 50 brothers who are there for you now and who always will be. There's an English poet laureate you may have heard of named Rudyard Kipling. 125 years ago, he wrote a famous poem he called If, and I want to end this tribute with some Kipling wisdom. I think the present times give this poem renewed meaning. I quote, If you can dream and not make dreams your master, if you can think, and not make thoughts your aim. If you can meet with triumph and disaster and treat those two imposters just the same. If you can fill the unforgiving minute with 60 seconds worth of distance run, yours is the earth and everything that's in it and which is more, you'll be a man, my son. Gentlemen, remember where you are right now. Remember who's with you in the room. Tonight is an important passage. It's a celebration of you and the hard work that you have put in getting yourself to this point, the brink of graduation. All right, next up, we're going to show a video, a tribute to the class of 2020. After hearing that this year's seniors would graduate on Zoom, English teacher Dr. Chrysantha Hermanson put out a call to action to teachers, parents, and families. She asked all of us to record a short video to say farewell or good luck to the class of 2020. Well, the call was definitely answered. The original compilation is 55 minutes long. Uh, don't worry, we're, we're not gonna show you that whole thing right now. Mr. Burris worked very hard to cut that down to about 24 minute version that we're gonna show you now and we will send you all the original version you can watch later. Also, I want to announce that with no small amount of trepidation that's kind of bordering on terror, we're turning on the chat feature of this Zoom session. Seniors, 
I have appointed Mr. Bruton, the guardian of the chat, empowered with tossing you out of this Zoom call if the chats go south. So guys, keep it positive, keep it classy. All right, here is our community's attempt to pay tribute to the Blue Ridge School class of 2020. Hey guys, Miss Wilkins here, sending you guys all a virtual hug. I wish we were together so I could say my goodbyes to you guys all in person, but this will have to suffice. Um, I miss you guys all so much, and I'm so proud of everything that you guys have done this year. You guys have been an amazing class to work with and a class that I will never forget. To say that you guys were my hardest class would be an understatement, but the hard work that went in and the hard work that you guys put in produced memorable and unforgettable stories and you class of 2020 are definitely unforgettable. I will have stories to tell about each and every one of you for years to come. You kept me on my toes. You challenged me to find new ways to reach you. You made me put my foot down more times than not, but you also made me laugh more times than I can count. I think I said this in the beginning that if this if there were ever a class that could come out on top of something like this, it would be you, the class of 2020. Um, you're resilient, you're adaptable, you're quick to bounce back, and most importantly, you're unyielding. I want each of you to know that I will truly miss you and that you have left a lasting legacy and a lasting mark here on all of us at Blue Ridge. Remember this, guys, that the ultimate measure of a man is not where he stands at moments of comfort and convenience, but where he stands at moments of challenge and controversy. I can't wait to hear all about the amazing things that you will do and the memories you will make and the experiences you will have all across the country. Keep in touch. Make me proud. I know you will. I love you all. I miss you all. And I can't wait to see you soon. Hey, Andrew, congratulations. We are so super proud of all that you've accomplished. Congratulations. You're doing great and you've got a great future ahead of you. <laughs> Hi, Cameron. I am so proud of you. I think I'm, you're going to do good at college. I love you. Congratulations, Congratulations, Cameron. We're so proud of you. We love you. And we know that your future is bright. You've done great things, and we could not be happier for you. We love you so much. Congratulations. Congratulations, class of 2020. We are going to miss you boys so much. Charles, even though graduation will look different for you, the achievement is still the same. You've grown and learned so much, and we couldn't be prouder. Wishing you all the best at the University of Tennessee. Go Vols! Blue Ridge, we want to thank you for the faculty. We want to thank you guys from our hearts. The last two years for Charlie, I, I really have seen him grow quite a bit, and we really thank you guys. Appreciate it. Charlie, we just want to tell you how proud we are of you. You're on your way to Sewanee, and um, you've worked hard for every accomplishment, and we can't wait to see what life has in store for you. Congrats. Love you. Love you, Char. You've come a long way, Chris, and we're so proud of you. The lessons you've learned at Blue Ridge will serve you well in your new career. We love you, Chris. Bye. To the Blue Ridge class of 2020, I was fortunate to teach or coach many of you, and I am proud of all of you. Be great citizens of the world and come back and see us soon. Congratulations, David. I am so proud of you. I know Dad, Danny, and Benny, and Grammy are as well. We all love you. I know that everybody at Blue Ridge is really proud of you. You've really accomplished a lot over these past three years and I hope that you will take all your accomplishments with you and that you will trust in yourself and have a great college career at Lehigh. Congratulations, I love you. Congratulations to the Barron brothers of the class of 2020 and a special congratulations to my advisees, Cam Culey, Andrew Lehrman and George Pitt. I'd like to thank uh, and congratulate the senior Baron lacrosse players, Jake, Charlie, Charlie, Chris, Levi, David, Norm, George, and a special congratulations and thank you to Cam, Andrew, and Keegan. Uh, you guys came in with me three years ago and your legacy will be the culture that you created for this program and for that. I am uh, forever grateful. Thanks so much and congrats again. Congrats. This is Bill Bradley. 
I am Dylan Bradley's dad. Jennifer and I wish Dylan Bradley and the rest of the class of 2020 from the Blue Ridge School good luck in their future endeavors. Go Barons! Hey Blue Ridge class of 2020, congratulations! congratulations. Hi Dennis, congratulations on your graduation. I am so proud of you and thank you so much teachers and staff of Blue Ridge for taking care of our kids the way you guys do. Dennis, you're going to college, isn't that crazy? But don't forget to invite me to all your college parties. Good luck, Dennis, in college. I have, but I have one question. When are you getting your driver's license? I need to know so you can take me places. Dennis, we're so proud to see, proud of you and to see how you've grown over the last four years, and I can't wait to see you grow over the next four years in college. Congratulations! congratulations. Oh, your brother, your brother. Congratulations, brother. <laughs> Congratulations, guys, you did it. You have finished high school. Um, you've met many challenges, you've embraced many obstacles, and here you are at the end of the road. Congratulations. Um, I got to spend a year with most of you in our literature class, and it was a year that I really, really enjoyed. So thank you for the smiles and the laughs. Um, thank you for the silliness but also thank you for the seriousness. Thank you for being willing to be vulnerable and to share your ideas about the world and about life and about your lives. Um, thank you for the, the, the good thought provoking conversations about a lot of issues that people are uncomfortable talking about. Um, I was really impressed with your guys' ability to be respectful and thoughtful and analytical so thank you for a good year. Congratulations to you, Isis. And I know you're going to reach your goals and I'm very proud of you. And so we just say to you to keep moving forward, keep looking up and may God bless you in all of your endeavors. Isis, we wish you the very best. We know that you will do good in life and don't forget your goals that you have set because you are an intelligent young man, you're strong-headed, and just keep doing good. And we all are so proud of you. We love you. Congratulations, Isis. Congratulations, class of 2020. Uh, I want to make some shout outs here. First to the uh, members of the basketball team, Will, Sasa, Jackson, Andy, Jimmy, and David, and Zach. Thanks for some great memories on the basketball court. Spent a lot of time traveling around and, and coaching you guys, and I've really enjoyed that. Uh, also, shout out to my various students I've taught over the years in English and sports broadcasting. And then a special shout out to my honors American Lit class, Zach, Mike, Joseph, Charles, Andrew, David, Levi, Bryce, and Andy. You guys have been a pleasure to teach. It's been a lot of fun, a lot of great discussions, and a lot of really great products you guys have created, and I, I really appreciate what you guys have done. Good luck in everything that you do and come back and see us. Jack! Good job, buddy. So proud of you. 2020 sucks. You graduate is awesome. Yay! Congratulations, Jack. We're so happy for you and proud of all the work you've done. Congrats, Jack. I'm so proud of you. Thanks for being the best big brother ever. Congratulations, Jack. Good career at Blue Ridge. Hey Jack, congratulations on graduating from Blue Ridge. We are so proud of you and, um, and all of your achievements academically with sports, leadership, and with music. You really are a well-rounded person and took advantage of everything at Blue Ridge to really make it yours. And we're really, really proud of you. We love you and we are excited about your next steps we only just wish that um, that it hadn't ended with the coronavirus and uh, not being able to go to graduation on time. But again, we are so proud of you and we can't wait for the future. Same. I totally agree. It's been such a wonderful thing to watch you um, grow and um, learn and kind of work your way through um, all the obstacles that it, it is to be a, a high school student and just couldn't be more happy with how much you flourished at Blue Ridge and um, it's such a wonderful community and I'm so happy that you got to have this opportunity. Congrats to the class of 2020. I want to give a special shout out to my anatomy guys 
uh, Mike, Cruz, Harry, David, Jack, Sam, Dylan, Charles, and Keegan. You guys are a lot of fun to teach. Uh, one of the most fun classes I've, I've ever taught at Blue Ridge. Um, and I really appreciate the amount of work you put into the class and the products you, uh, you produced and um, all the great, great things you've just contributed on a daily basis. Um, gonna miss you guys. I hope you come back and visit. Um, but please, please, please let, let me know if you ever need anything and uh, good luck. Go. So guys, I want to say uh, goodbye. I'm sorry your senior year didn't work out the way you thought it would, especially the springtime, obviously. I know Andrew Landon <clears throat> was looking forward to some hamburgers, but we can make hamburgers some other time. Uh, I need to apologize to the guys that I taught Algebra 1 with or 2. I should never have let Dr. Miller talk me into that. Sorry about that, too. Uh, anyhow, we'll be seeing you. You're going to come back, and I'll see you then, but I'm, I'm probably not going to hug you just because you're older. See ya. You did it, Jakey. We're so proud of you. Gosh, what a what a ride. Four years, two different schools, and you showed your adaptability, your giftedness, you're a remarkable young man, and you created open doors and windows and created an amazing opportunity for you to go to Belmont Abbey College and play for a top lacrosse team. Yeah, baby. Congratulations, Jake. We're really proud of you. <laughs> we look forward to what you can do in the future as you close this chapter of your life and start a new one. Love you, bye. Love you. <laughs> Congratulations, Jason. Uh, super proud of you for finishing high school. You've really overcome uh, a lot to be here. Um, you know, you get to choose what you get to do for the rest of your life. So uh, dream big, uh, can't wait to see what's next and um, we'll all be here to support you. Hey seniors, congratulations. I'm glad you made it. And I just wanna wish you good luck for next year. Give a shout out to my Four senior advisees, Jackson, uh, Juno, and Joseph, and Andrew. I wish you guys the best. Bye. Class of 2020, we're going to miss you. You guys were a great class. My advisees, high fats, three years, baby. JD, Jack Dickey, love you, bro. Wishing you success at Bridgewater. Shiner, good work, you made it, buddy. Good luck at Belmont Abbey. Peace out, everybody. Juan Francisco, por esta vía, mi amor, quiero felicitarte, agradecerte lo orgullosa que me has hecho como madre. Gracias por lograr la meta escolar. Ahora nos queda el reto más grande, que es la universidad. Sabemos que eres un hombre de bien y seguirás siendo un hombre de bien. Gracias a los profesores por apoyarte en esta crisis. Te amamos. Juan, felicidades por tu graduación. Recuerda que este es el comienzo del largo camino. Te deseo muchos éxitos. Happy graduation day, Juan. I love you. You're my little brother. And to see you graduating high school is a big deal. I know times are difficult. But you should keep your head up and you should celebrate this huge milestone. And that goes to the whole class of 2020. Congratulations. Hi, Julian. Hi, Jules. It's crazy that we're already at your high school graduation. You've been working so hard for so long and especially these last couple months. We're really proud of you. And I know you're super excited to get off to college and get to GW. And we're excited to see all that you accomplish. Caps off to you, graduate. This is for all the seniors who have always played with us. And were very nice to us. Um, congratulations for your graduation. Good luck. Good luck. Keegan, we're really proud of you and all your hard work over the last three years. We'd like to wish you and the entire senior class of 2020 all the best in your future endeavors. I'm so proud of you guys. I'm so excited to hear about your next steps in life. And just remember that we're always here for you to support you and love you. Congratulations, class of 2020. We're not jumping in this lake because we didn't go to school here, but we really want the class of 20 
20 to come back as soon as it's safe and we have this graduation and jump in that lake because you guys have deserved it. And we really wish the best of luck to all of you, especially our son, Sam. We are so proud. We cannot wait to see what's next. Have a great time at JMU. Love you guys. Take care. Okay. Hi, Nathan. Hi, Miho. Uh, we wanted to record this, uh, to make this recording for you, to kind of uh, send you off uh, with a little special remembrance of uh, how we feel about you. Um, your mother's about ready to cry. <laughs> <laughs> but we wanted to say, first and foremost, just, just how very proud we are of you. I mean, there's no denying where you come from, where you're going, and how you got there. Um, and you've done it all because of you. Hard work, determination, um, never quitting, everything that, you know, I've always expected of uh, both my children. <laughs> and, and you definitely exemplified that. So, um, you know, you, you, you fall down, you get back up, and you, you keep moving forward. And that's all you can expect from life. Congratulations, Ramsey's in the class of 2020. You made it. Congratulations, son. We're proud of you. We always knew you could do it. Again, congratulations, Ramsey's, on graduating high school and going off to college. I'm very proud of you, and I know you're going to do great things. Congratulations. I'm very proud of you. Привет. We are Sasha's parents. My name is Angelica. My name is Roman. We want to thank all the teachers, faculty, and staff for your patience and dedication to the work. We are very proud that our son had an opportunity to become a baron. Hey, class of 2020, congratulations to you. Uh, we missed the senior hike, so I came up here so you could get a view of the mountains you would have uh, been traveling. There's high top, you would have climbed to the top of that. So you look me up anytime and we'll get you up there. Congratulations, we miss you, and good luck. Howdy Trace, we're here at your new home for the next four to uh, hopefully less than 10 years. Just want to say that we're really proud of you. I know that you've worked hard to get to here, so we love you very much. Finish strong and do great at AM. We love you, babe. Giga Maggies. Congratulations, class of 2020. You guys did an awesome job. And to my son, Tramel, I just want to say that I love you so, so much. We are all so very proud of you. You are destined for greatness. And I cannot wait to see what the next four years of college has in store for you. Class of 2020, woohoo! you did it. Congratulations to all of you. And you should be proud of all your, you have accomplished here at Blue Ridge School. A few words to some students who came to appreciate my offbeat sense of humor and incessant ramblings. Thanks for the memories and I will miss all of you. A special thanks to Charles Meadows, Charlie Fox, Cam Cooley, Tramel Thompson, and of course, last but not least, to my advisees who were undeniably my pride and joy, Juan Campusano Woloski and Isis Lewis, who I've known since he was in my seventh grade Spanish class. Best of luck to all of you and a heartfelt good luck in the future. Congratulations seniors on graduating from Blue Ridge School. Shoot me an email and tell me what you'd like for me to paint on Senior Rock for you. And I'll get wealthy up here or somebody up here and do some, some painting for you. Take care. Good luck. Do well. I love you. Bye-bye. Hey, class 2020, I uh, wore my nice shirt for this. I didn't shave, but I did wear the nice shirt. And without further ado, I just wanna show you, I finished this painting. It was pretty cool. I started this sketch last summer um, after sitting in this boring meeting in this particular conference room where this thing's now hanging. Um, and it was kind of about being listless and bored within the meeting at first, and the character was kind of creepy in the beginning, but I kind of cheer him up a little bit and he started to remind me of uh, feelings I probably share with you guys about wanting to be anywhere but being cooped up inside on a beautiful spring day. Um, and it was kind of ironic because as I went through the spring, 
I made like eight paintings that I had to cut out these little leaves with. And as I added them in, it kind of followed spring as the trees were blooming and things were coming together. It all filled out, so by the end, um, all the leaves are on the trees now. And I'm really sad that you guys are missing. But in the end, um, when it comes to when somebody asks about your senior year, you can say that you lived in the time of the vid. And I had to fight an old lady in the parking lot for a roll of toilet paper. Sprayed my hand sanitizer in her eyes and blinded her. But that's neither here nor there. We still miss having you here. Hi, Charlie. We are so proud of you on this special day. I just want to tell you, I remember once upon a time when you were a toddler running around chasing your brother and sister and wanting them to play with you. And now look at you. You're a great independent man. So proud of you, sweetie. And I am very proud of you as well. Your high school has been a journey and you're getting ready to uh, start a brand new journey at Averett playing lacrosse. And we can't be more excited for you as you go into your next uh your next adventure in life. So we're looking forward to watching you play next year. And we're, we couldn't be prouder for you uh, getting, getting through this year and making it, making it to college. Congratulations, Aiden. It wasn't always easy, but you stuck with it to the end. And now you're graduating. Well done. You're leaving Blue Ridge with some great universities to choose from. We are proud of your accomplishments, especially with the outdoor activities. We hope the passion you developed for fly fishing acquired at Blue Ridge keeps giving you the pleasure it's giving you now. And we look forward to your future wherever it takes you. Hey there, graduates. How does that sound to you? And friends and family. Uh, Ms. Braisted here, and I'd like for you to do two things. First thing I'd like you to do is I'd like you to go back to your first week at Blue Ridge, just in your mind, um, and think about what you thought your life would be like then. Did you ever imagine that you would be who you are now? Dylan, that you would place in a poetry slam. Joe, that you would love Nita Berger's class. Harry, that you would have a choice of art school. To my two advisees, uh, Tramel, you've been such a big brother and we will always do your Friday dance and think of you. Zach, your papa would be so proud of you. All right, move forward now to think we're not all in the same room together, but each one of us has somebody with you here, either virtually or realistic, that's celebrating you. And I promise I'm at Blue Ridge and there is somebody at Blue Ridge that has taken each one of you into their hearts as family. So stop and think of the people around you and just take a minute and hold the, the happiness, the excitement of this day. Just hold it in your heart for a few minutes. Think of those people. We are so very proud of you. Congratulations, graduates. We love you. Hello, class of 2020. Congratulations on graduating high school, particularly in the midst of a global pandemic. Well done, gentlemen. Miss you guys already. Um, you're all gonna have great college careers and, and more. Um, it was a pleasure having you here at Blue Ridge School. Definitely gonna miss you guys. Take care, have a great future. of this time don't ask why it's not a question but a lesson learned in time it's something unpredictable but in the end it's right I hope you have a time of your life 
thank you to all who sent in video clips uh, as a tribute to our senior class. Uh, and like I mentioned earlier on, we will send the original 55 minute version to you all to watch later on. Uh, now uh, I turn it over to senior class president, Mr. Mike Hahn for the graduation speech honoring the class. Good luck, Mike. Good evening, everyone. I was informed that I would be speaking at the graduation a while back. I procrastinated a little bit, like usual. But when I finally started to write the speech, I, I realized that I have no idea what to say. Knowing that I am screwed, I decided to only have one goal, keep the speech short, since I know it is really hard for us to watch something other than YouTube on your laptops for a very long time. It is crazy that we're graduating, though. I still remember when my parents drove me to school for the very first time. I slowly saw civilization fade behind me, but when I checked the GPS, I realized we haven't even covered half of the total distance. I remember thinking to myself, crap, coming to this school was the biggest mistake I've ever made. And truth be told, every time when I came to Blue Ridge, all I wanted to do was leave. So why in the world does it feel so hard to leave right now? Now I know I stole that line from the TV show, The Office, but it perfectly sums up my feelings right now. And it's not like I'm gonna get an honor console for plagiarism in my speech, right? Um, I mean, it, we've all complained about being in this school. It is to be expected since we're a bunch of teenagers stuck in a boarding school following the same schedule every day. That's literally the recipe for complaints. But that's what they all were, complaints. And I think I speak for everyone when I say we'll miss this place and we'll miss all the weird shouting on the halls and all the times that people came into our room asking for food. We've all had good moments in the school. I know I have. I've tried different and new things. Um, some of these experiences didn't really end up that well, but other things like robotics is still the funnest thing I've ever done. I've done plenty of stupid things too, like shooting Nerf guns in the hall and almost getting thrown into a lake after a robotics competition, long story. But most importantly, I did those things with my best friends who I met in the school. They have been there with me through pretty much everything. And even their families are there to help whenever I'm in need, which I am very grateful for, especially during times like this. To me, Blue Ridge School is special because the sense of community that it has and I think this holds true for everyone. Nothing is good if your friends aren't there to see it. And in BRS, we've all met a group of people who are always there for the good moments to share the joy and are always there for the bad moments to help you bear the burden. And that's what sucks about this pandemic. It took away our last trimester of senior year. We were supposed to be with each other before we leave for a new beginning. But let's be honest, we don't really know when we'll see each other in person once we graduate and leave Blue Ridge. People, well, people come and go in our lives. That's why we hold on to them when they're still there, which is exactly what the last few months of senior year is about, holding on to them when they're still there. Now, because of this pandemic, we were forced to stay home and away from our friends. And to make matters worse, we had to take online classes. I know the teachers work hard to keep the online classes engaging, but it's really hard to sit in front of your laptop doing schoolwork every single day. However, we made it through. And I believe that in the future, we'll look back and say, hey, remember that time when a new virus was found in China that quickly caused a pandemic and we were forced to stay home, took classes through that Zoom app and had nothing else to do other than watching that documentary about a former zookeeper and a convicted felon while the economy was crumbling? You see, we'll never forget our senior year because it was so special. And no matter what happened, at least we got a good story out of it. And you know how our parents and grandparents always try to tell us stories from when they were young? Well, our stories about the times we tried to skip Zoom classes during a global health crisis will make theirs pale in comparison. Now, if you haven't noticed, I was trying to make you see all the silver lining behind this, but if you can't do that, I totally understand. I will, however, say this. Life is a pain in the butt sometimes, but we just keep living because there are beautiful moments that will make it worth a while. We all had moments like these during our time in this school. And in the end, the relationships that we established here and the, high, the memories of our high school years will be the only legacy that matters. 
As we start a new chapter in our lives, we'll face more challenges and life will get rough, but we'll also have more good moments. Sometimes, and I know it sounds cliche, but you have to go through a storm to see the rainbow. So I just want to thank everyone for four amazing years. And as we move on from Blue Ridge, make sure you stay in touch with those you care about. And I wish everyone the best of luck. Thank you. All right, thank you, Mike. Now we move on to the reason that we're all gathered here today on Zoom, the awarding of diplomas to the class of 2020. During the awarding of the diplomas, uh, as I read out names of the, each senior, rather than my face, thankfully, you will see scrolling pictures and quotes that our graduates put together. I encourage families to use the chat feature on Zoom or one of those icons to cheer on your graduate as his name is called. Okay, let's begin. Xuang Zhe, Mike Han, class president from Beijing, China, supported by Liang Han and Liang Huang, and Eve and Timothy Johnson. A four-year student, Mike will attend the University of California, Los Angeles. Cameron, Brian Cooley, class vice president from Medway, Massachusetts. His team of supporters includes Joanna and Matt Tibbetts, Connor, Mikey, and Grace, Kyle and Don Ford, Martin and Maureen Ford, Jen Park, Colleen Fairchild, Michelle Ahouse, Lauren Lyons, Ron and Victoria Tibbetts, Lisa and Mike Daco, Brian Cooley, Tara Conley, and Hawkins, Lorraine, Brent, Juliana and Christian Cooley. A three-year student will attend Hobart and William Smith Colleges. Andrew Michael Landman from Blonix, Pennsylvania, supported by David and Nancy Landman and Patricia Kastelik. A three-year student will attend Virginia Military Institute. Yuto Hiraki, class representative from Saitama, Japan. Supported by Shige Kazu and Naoko Hiraki, a three-year student will attend Western New England University. Shunsuke Aoki from Tokyo, Japan. Supported by Masahiko and Yuriko Aoki, Kiyome, Kiyomi Kumehara and Takumi Kato. A two-year student will attend University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign. Samuel Wells Bennett from good old St. George, Virginia. Supported by Matt and Terry Bennett, Abby Bennett and Jim and Linda Long. A four-year student will attend James Madison University. Dylan Shane Bradley from Culpeper, Virginia. Supported by Bill and Jennifer Bradley, Zach Bradley, Joanne and Ray Bradley, Jessica Barnes, Betty Jo Har, Mike Bradley, Carol and Bill Elliott, and Mary Williams. A two-year student will attend Mount St. Mary's University, Maryland. Juan Francisco Camposano Welaski from Santo Domingo, Dominican Republic. Supported by Victor Camposano Jimenez and Teresa Wolaski, Victor Stacy Camposano and Dandy Camposano, a two-year student who is presently undecided. Arnaud Julian Kurod from Alexandria, Virginia, supported by Michelle Kurod, Arnaud Kurod, Jerry and Jean Provost, Peter Provost, Emily Provost, Darren Spradley K. Spradley, Eric Jehoda, Angela Greben, Patty Friedman, and Becky York. A four-year student will attend George Washington University. Jackson Sayre Culhane from Houston, Texas, supported by Miles and Leslie Culhane, Quinn Culhane, and Adrienne, Culhane, Adrienne Orlin. A two-year student will attend Occidental College. Jack Ryan Daly from Arlington, Virginia, supported by Justin Daly and Mary Frances Daly, a one-year student will attend College of Charleston. 
Jackson Reese Wakeman Dickey from Richmond, Virginia. His team of supporters include Sarah and Pat Anderson, Tom and April Dickey, Josh, Ava, and Alder Dickey, Anne, Laura, and Theo Hartman, Julie Dickey, Rachel and Anthony Holdred, Avery and Nia, and Sarah Lopez. A three-year student will attend Bridgewater College. Bryce Alexander Dillard from Spotsylvania, Virginia. Supported by Troy and Sheila Dillard, Alex Dillard, class of 2019, Dot and Jimmy Dillard, Kevin Dillard, and Carla and Dave Cook. A two-year student considering Virginia Commonwealth University. St. George Tucker Donovan from Enrico, Virginia. Supported by Ann Donovan and Anthony Donovan, class of 1980. A four-year student will attend the University of South Carolina. Charlton Russell Fox from Reston, Virginia. Supported by Mike and Melissa Fox, Linda Fox, Russ Fox, and Georgian Charlton. A two-year student will attend Sewanee University College of the South. Dennis John Francvi from Park Ridge, Illinois. Supported by Dennis and Maria Francvi and the whole Francvi family. Also the Holly family, the Little family, and the Orta family. A four-year student will attend Eastern Illinois University. Alexander Sasha Romanovich Glushkov from Vladivostok, Russia. Supported by Roman and Angelika Glushkov, a two-year student who is strongly considering offers from Monmouth University, California State Northridge, and Appalachian State University. Ramses Amir Graves Coleman from Durham, North Carolina. Supported by Tamu Coleman, Roderick Coleman, Anne, Erica, Ebony, and Ensign Creighton, Eula Coleman, Adrian Coleman, Tanya Johnson, Michelle Roach, and Michael Whitney and Jessica Langley. A four-year student will attend North Carolina Central University. Colby Nader Hanna from Reston, Virginia. Accompanied by Sandra Hanna, Gerald Zavala, Layla and Nina Zavala, Shelby Decker, and Dad Max, who's always watching over Colby. A two-year student who will attend Northern Virginia Community College. David Matthew Heifetz from Houston, Texas. His team includes Stuart Heifetz, Irene Heifetz, Danielle Heifetz, Benny Heifetz. Roberta Grossman, Shelley Cypress, Anna Heifetz, Michael and Michelle Heifetz, Nira Kaufman, and the whole Kaufman family. A three-year student will attend Lehigh University. Aiden Charles Murphy Johnson from Morgantown, West Virginia. Supported by Matthew Johnson, Sheena Murphy, and Matt, I'm sorry, and Mary and Bart Murphy. A two-year student will attend the University of Vermont. Aman Utsunomiya Johnson from McLean, Virginia, supported by Keiko Utsunomiya and Coach Mark Cable. A four-year student will attend University of Toronto. Andrew Patrick Jorgensen from Ashburn, Virginia, supported by Gregory and Kristen Jorgensen, Weston Greer and Nate Jorgensen, Jay and Ida Jorgensen, Donna Bellamy and Michael and Sybil McFarland. A four-year student will attend Utah State University. byung Su Thomas Kim from Seoul, South Korea. Supported by Gi Man Kim and Song Jong Jo. A two-year student will attend the University of Texas at Austin. Christopher Patrick Knight from Williamsburg, Virginia. Supported by Ken Barnhart, Nancy T. Barnhart, Nancy M. Barnhart, Scott Barnhart, Ori Maliris, Gary Barnhart, Barbara Anderson, Liz, John, and Jack Duffy, Deb Tyndale, Tom and Ashley Barnhart, Pam and Randy Clark, Scott Coons, and Chris Knight. A four-year student will enter the United States Navy. 
Wallace Trace Wilbur Keening from Dahran, Saudi Arabia. Supported by Wallace and Tammy Keening and Blake Keening, class of 2022. A two-year student will attend Texas A&M University. Keegan Patrick Kozak from Delta, British Columbia, Canada. Supported by Josie and Kelly Kozak, Carrie Ann Kozak, Catherine McDonald, Khan and Donna Kozak, Mark Kozak and Marcy Lukshin, Kim Kozak and Dave Shapiro, Jenny Durant and Eric Boyer, and his great-grandfather, Earl McDonald. A three-year student will attend Canisius College. William Miles Lee from South Ozone Park, New York. Supported by Fatima Williams and William Lee, a two-year student will attend Dodge City Community College. Isis Cryi Lewis from Radiant, Virginia, supported by the Reverend Frank Lewis, Shirley Lewis, Charles Lewis, Dr. Sharika Jones Lewis, Frankie Mariel, Che, La che Langston, Willa, Thea, Laina, and Kea Lewis, April Ward, Jess Berg, and April Taylor. A four-year student will attend Hampton Sydney College. Jack Abraham Lutzker from Alexandria, Virginia, supported by Dove and Angela Lutzker, John and Sandra Lutzker, and Walter Evans. A three-year student will attend Belmont University. Charles Douglas Meadows III from Spotsylvania, Virginia, supported by Letitia Thompson, a three-year student, will attend University of Tennessee at Knoxville. Joshua Albert Megan from Falls Church, Virginia, supported by Christopher and Terry Megan, Gail and Robert Megan, and Jack S. Forms. A three-year student will attend Coastal Carolina University. Cruz Guillaume Nunez Mike from New York, New York, supported by Angelina Mike, a four-year student, will attend Le Roche Hotelier School in Switzerland. Levi Alexander Moss from Richmond, Virginia, supported by Jeffrey Moss, a three-year student, will attend Elon University. Andrew Uchenna Nuauko from Obowo, Nigeria, supported by Iwu Rose and Agu Mangas, a three-year student who is strongly considering offers from Fordham University, Monmouth University, Boise State University, and Howard University. Juno Park from Ras Tanura, Saudi Arabia, supported by Jung Park, a four-year student will attend University of New South Wales in Sydney, Australia. George John Pitt from Waterdown, Ontario, Canada. Supported by George and Michelle Pitt, a one-year student will attend University of Hartford. Norman Michael Pitt from Waterdown, Ontario, Canada. Supported by George and Michelle Pitt as well, a one-year student, he too will attend University of, of Hartford. It's a lucky school. John Zhou, Zhou Chin from Beijing, China. Supported by Zhang Li and Wen Hong Maggie Chen, a five-year student, will attend Cleveland State University. Luis Ruiz de Apodaca de Malibran from Madrid, Spain. Supported by Luis Ruiz de Apodaca de Rodriguez and Patricia de Malibran Larainzar. A one-year student will attend Randolph College. Nathaniel. Adam Santos from San Antonio, Texas. His team of supporters includes Dr. Ann and Mr. Gerald Santos, Lauren Santos, Jacob Wrights, Dolores Santos, Pete Santos, Veronica Bearfield, Taylor Montague, Diane Garcia, Arnold, Andrew, and Norma Santos, Daniel Hernandez, Pearl Concha, Samuel and Ashlyn Juarez, Roland and Linda Perez, Victoria Puentes, David Hernandez, Vanessa Martinez, Catherine Puentes, Coach Mark Cable, Alexander and Donna Sidlowski, and 
Angelica Medina. A four-year student will attend the University of Iowa. Jake William Russell Shiner from Springfield, Virginia. Supported by Fred and Julie Lynn Shiner, Jessa Lynn Shiner, Judy Keeler, Lon Bechtel, Ron Keeler, Peggy Epler, Helen Shiner, Melissa Shiner, Stephen Keeler, Michelle Ron Keeler, and Lisa John and Kylie Lowney. A two-year student will attend Belmont Abbey College. Dylan Grant Strasser from Meridian, Mississippi. Supported by Scott and Emily Strasser, a four-year student will attend Key West Community College. Charles Lee Suler from Earliesville, Virginia. Supported by Edward and Stephanie Suler, Dave and Marty Almquist, Caitlin and Randy Pearson, and Austin Suler. A one-year student will attend Averett University. Jason William Taylor from Los Angeles, California. Supported by Paul and Jennifer Taylor, a two-year student will attend Full Sail University. Tremel DeAndre Thompson from Astoria, New York. Supported by Chelsea Thompson, Tycho Howard, Taylor Howard, Cassandra Lamont, Robert, Shea Venus, and Kiara Thompson. Tracy and Terry Wisnant, Teen McLaughlin, Ramona Coleman and family, and Donna and Tuan Howard. A four-year student will attend Hampton Sydney College. David Samuel Trawick from Vestavia Hills, Alabama. Supported by John and Amanda Trawick, a one-year student will attend Queens University, Charlotte. John Joseph Whalen III from Hot Springs, Arkansas. Supported by John and Isis Whalen, Rebecca Whalen, Reba Turner, Lacey Whalen, Mildred Fuller, Rebecca and Jillian Fuller, and Emily Turner. A four-year student will attend Western Colorado University. Zachary Sabane Wood from Odenton, Maryland. Supported by Hakima Wood, Mehdi Saula, and Hindi Tifrani. A three-year student will attend American University of Paris. Got one minor technical difficulty we're working through. We'll be right back with you in a second. Okay. All right, so it's not the trailer. Okay. All right, apologies. John Joseph Whalen the third. Go down. I'm sorry. We're 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 gonna get synced back up. We'll be back with you in a second. Can folks out there hear me? Is the sound working at present? Please chime in in the chat if you don't mind. Okay. Thank you. All right. We're going to continue with, we, we, we just, we were on, I believe, David Trawick. Is that correct? Ms. Wills, are you synced back up with? Okay. Start with him. Okay. David Samuel Trawick from Vestavia Hills, Alabama. Supported by John and Amanda Trawick, a one-year student will attend Queens University of Charlotte. John Joseph Whalen III from Hot Springs, Arkansas. Supported by John and Isis Whalen, Rebecca Whalen, Reba Turner, Lacey Whalen, Mildred Fuller, Rebecca and Jillian Fuller, and Emily Turner. Okay, uh, we're going to pause again.
All right, sound check. Okay, so we're, we're going to go back. David Trawick is the luckiest senior of all. He gets to have his name called now three, the third time. We're going to go back with, to David. You with me, Ms. Wills? All right. David Samuel Trawick from Vestavia Hills, Alabama, supported by John and Amanda Trawick, a one-year student, will attend Queens University of Charlotte. John Joseph Whalen III from Hot Springs, Arkansas, supported by John and Isis Whalen, Rebecca Whalen, Reba Turner, Lacey Whalen, Mildred Fuller, Rebecca and Jillian Fuller, and Emily Turner, a four-year student, will attend Western Colorado University. Zachary Sabane Wood from Odenton, Maryland, supported by Hakima Wood, Mehdi Saula, and Hindi Tifrani. A three-year student will attend American University of Paris. Jingbo Jimmy Yang from Hangzhou, China, supported by Lin Yang and Yan Chen. A three-year student will attend Skidmore College. And finally, Han Cheng Harry Yu from Hangzhou, China, supported by Junmin Yu and Hong Ling Lu. A four-year student will attend Pratt School of Art and Design. On behalf of the faculty and staff of Blue Ridge School, I am very, very proud to present to you the graduated class of 2020. Awesome job, you guys. Congratulations. Um, this is my final chance to, to uh, say thank you to all the families, parents, siblings, uncles, aunts, grandparents who stuck with us, who partnered with the school to see these boys become young men and reach this finish line, the point of their graduation. Congratulations to you all as well, and thank you. I now turn it over to Reverend Jay Atkinson for the benediction. Congratulations, guys. We're very proud of you. And now, Blue Ridge School graduates, class of 2020, please receive this blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen.